coolest thing right here in the middle of this major European city is this little island of coolness. <laughs> it's just great. Thanks to everybody here at the Lopen for treating me and, and Dan uh, with such respect and, and with such hospitality. Once again, thank you, Morton, for the sound. And uh, thank you, folks, for turning up. My uh, last song tonight on this set is going to be uh, a song that sort of was one of my favorite songs from the, the Stand Tall record. And to my knowledge, and this song is 100% a true story, to my knowledge, this is the only song in the world that has the words God and Ramones in the title of the song. When we were um, first coming out in 82, we got a gig opening for the Ramones all through Texas that summer. It was a fantastic experience, but not for the reasons you might think. Um, we had no business taking this tour. I'm not even sure how we got it. We were an unknown band, but anyway, we took the gig. We barely had enough gas to even get to Beaumont, Texas from Nashville. It's a thousand miles to drive. Had barely enough gas to get there. Got to the venue. We hadn't even eaten. We couldn't afford food. We were that young and dumb and broke. <laughs> so we got into this huge venue in Beaumont, Texas, 3,000 gigantic meat market kind of club. And oh my God, we were opening for the Ramones, the greatest American rock and roll band ever. And we were terrified because you know, we'd heard all these rumors that these punk rockers from Queens were pretty mean, you know, that they were pretty hard on opening bands and stuff. But I have to say, they, they were really cool guys. Um, Jeff, it, at, right before the last show, our bass player, he sort of went, did that punk rock thing where he pulls out all his bass strings and breaks his bass strings. And unfortunately, Jeff didn't have any money to buy new ones. So all he had was one string, the G string. And so he sound checked with the G, Tim just playing the, the G string. And he was just going to try to play the whole set with just the G string. Dee Dee, I guess, saw it, or, the, or his bass tech saw it, and, and they gave him a set of Dee Dee Ramones bass strings. Our end of Joey started running around, and I, I guess he just kind of instinctively knew that we were starving. <laughs> and he said, hey, man, do you, you want, some, want some food? We got a whole hospitality room in there full of food. We can't eat it all. And I was like, wow, Joey Ramone is telling me that I can eat everything in his hospitality tent. So, you know, I went in there, and you're probably thinking I was in awe that I just met Joey Ramone, but all I honestly was thinking about was, my God, I get to eat unlimited amounts of food right now. And we did. There wasn't hardly anything left when we got done with the Ramones, with the Ramones hospitality food. Hit the stage. Oh, my God. Then we sort of figured out how we got this gig. Folks, I don't think anybody in Texas really wanted that gig in 1982. Because the Ramon audiences, the Ramones audiences in Texas in those days, they had this weird tradition of bombing the opening band with garbage. And, I mean, Bruce Springsteen could have opened for the Ramones and he was going to get bombed with garbage. It was just that kind of thing. They actually came to the events loaded and carrying garbage. You know, in those days, you know, in Texas, you could get away with about carrying anything into the venue. You could carry a bazooka, you know. You could carry an army tank into the, into the venue and you wouldn't get stopped. And so these people had these garbage bags. <laughs> they were carrying garbage bags full of garbage to throw at us. <laughs> so we hit the stage. They, never, they didn't know it was from Adam, you know. And one look at me and my friend's shirt and my cowboy hat, and oh, man. It was just like they were having the time of their lives. They were going to destroy this country band. That's what they thought we were a country band. 
so they just bombarded us with trash. Now, to the guy's credit, you know, they, something weird kicked in, you know. We just started taking the garbage, and just four of us against 2,000 of them, and we started throwing it back at them, you know. And we started insulting them. I was telling them, my grandmother can throw more stuff than you, you know, the word, you know. And you guys can. And they just were stunned that this crazy hillbilly band from Texas, from Tennessee would behave that way in Texas. So in some of those shows, we actually got an encore. <laughs> this goes to show, sometimes you just gotta throw garbage in this world. So anyway, I'm gonna sing this song for you now. The only songs with the words God and Ramones in the title of the song. This is called God Bless the Ramones. <laughs> Nashville scorchers, busting doors and lighting torches. This guy offered us a Texas tour, guaranteed to make us less obscure. It was opening for the Ramones, you see, in the Texas state of Missouri. And though we had no master plan, no amps at work, or a running van, we said yes and away we went. With fifty dollars past due rent, we drove to Beaumont, Texas first, where all those punks would quench their thirst on bands like Killing Joke and Black Flag and bartenders all in drag. God bless the Ramones. They never made much money. Those folks either hated them or thought that they were funny. God bless the Ramones. They never sold their soul. The U.S. corporate radio, all that it could show. bass strings yet. So Dee Dee gave him extra string, some rider beer, and chicken wings. Then he opened up the show. There was so much we didn't know. Those Texas punch bombarded us with bottles of beer and vile stuff. God bless the Ramones. I never made much money. Most folks either hated them or thought that they were funny. Oh, God bless the Ramones. Bangers wear on weekends one day drinking there, and no one's left from that first band to take it in or make a stand. In all those years and all those miles, they barely spoke and rarely smiled. Ten thousand shows they gutted through for a small group of us who knew they were the first and they're still the best. And truly stand the punk rock test. God bless the Ramones. They never made much money. Most folks either hated. Thank you, folks.